Okay, good afternoon and welcome to the Gideon's Garage Safety Briefing for winter and spring 2023. My name is Joel Mason and I'll be going over some safety uh, procedures for our garage. As you can see that uh, Kevin and Jonathan have both made the the uh, cover of the safety briefing this year. And if you look really close in the back, there's Charlie Key. So thanks for another great year in Gideon's Garage. Uh, let me give you some updates. Hey, there's Matt Duran. We're using the parts washer. Uh, we had uh, no injuries that we're aware of in 22. Uh, we had no additional damage to vehicles in 22. Also, Mike's laughing in the back. <laughs> um, and we had many families blessed by our ministry. And I want to thank you specifically for all that you've done to make it a success. If you've done a safety uh, video with us before, know that you have to email me at jmason2088 at gmail.com with the three mascots that we'll mention and a statement that says you watched the video and you agree to the garage policies and you'll get your new code that way. So here's some themes throughout the briefing. I believe that's a Cameron and Dan working on that car right there, so that's great. Um, we want you to use the garage. That's what it's there for. We want you to use it to fix vehicles, of course, but we want you to use it more importantly for ministry. This is an excellent way to invite people, men and women, to our church and they can know Jesus better. And that's an awesome thing. So please, please use it for ministry. While you're using it, we want you to use it safely. We want you to protect yourself, and we also want to protect our church and this ministry. And as you're using it, which we want you to do, please be considerate of our neighbors, other ministries, and everything else that's going on here on campus. So for access, here are our access rules. Only active members of Farley Community Church will be allowed to use the garage outside of scheduled events. Non-church members are welcome at our garage, but they must be accompanied at all times by a Farley Church member. Active members must agree to get the safety and policy briefing, that's what we're doing right now, every six months to have a current door combination. We ask that you complete the sign-in log each time you access the garage. It's in the corner um, over on the side with the refrigerator and you'll see it back there. Please complete that log. We have to foot stomp it. No man ever works alone. You need to have another person with you in the garage. It can be a high school student. It could be your spouse. It could be a friend. It could be anyone that can call for help in case an accident happens, but please don't ever work in the garage alone. There is a bathroom key available by the entry door. It's uh, tied to a wrench and be aware that especially this time of year, the bathroom may be winterized. On the screen, you can see the instructions for using the combination lock and thanks for following these policies and procedures for access to the garage. Uh, here is our next slide, which is personal protection equipment. We have a lot of PPE for you in the garage. There's an eye wash station, there's uh, latex gloves, there's uh, safety glasses, there's a rubber apron, there's ABC fire extinguishers. We just got a new first aid kit because we realized the last event that we didn't have a first aid kit, so that's gonna be here by the time you see this video. If any of that equipment is missing or it's inoperative, please let myself or Tony know so that we can get this uh, replaced right away because we want this to be a safe place for you to work. And that brings us to our first mascot. This is Trinity Christian College's The Troll. So as you're writing down on your little notepad so you can send me an email, your first one is Trinity Christian College's The Troll. And as a side note, when we first did this video, one of the first obscure mascots we used was TCU. And I believe they got to go to the national championship football game. So maybe one day we'll see Trinity Christian College as well. All right, moving on to cleanliness. Everyone is responsible for keeping the garage clean and secured. I appreciate your efforts in this area. Make sure that all the equipment is turned off, especially the air compressor. That one has a tendency to trip the breaker if it's left on. We ask that you return the rechargeable tools to the charging station. Tony Salas did a great job putting our charging station together, so please use it. Uh, close the rolling doors. When you do that, the opener will lock it automatically with a deadbolt. And be sure to uh, use the deadbolt on the entry door along with closing both fence gates. We remind you that if you drain a fluid, we ask that you take it with you. Also, just because something fits in a trash can doesn't mean it should go in a trash can. For example, brake rotors or brake drums are very heavy. So if it's large or it's very heavy, please take it with you. We ask that no fluids be poured down the sink for environmental reasons. We also do not want any cars stored outside of the garage. You can store cars if they're complete up in the church parking lot and we can occasionally grant overnight access in the garage. You just need to coordinate with me so we make sure we have bays available for other people. Um, and again, complete vehicles can be stored up in a parking lot up by the dumpster. 
Uh, talking about tools, uh, we ask that you return, if you take a tool, return it to where you got it. Uh, we, you can borrow tools. I know people from time to time will want to borrow that small pancake air compressor we have, for example. It's totally fine. Just let me know and we'll work out um, a loan on the tool. Also, we have great donor support for our tools. We have a, have a very healthy fund for that. So if you see a tool that's broken or a tool that we need to, to replace, just let me know. We make an order almost every month. And uh, here's our next mascot. This is the University of California, Irvine, and it is Peter the Ant Eater. I've never seen that mascot before. But again, if you're writing it down now, the University of California, Irvine's Peter the Ant Eater. Now let's talk about our lifts. I've got some new lift disaster photos. Yes, that is a C8 Corvette and it breaks my heart. And the bottom one I think is a Tahoe or what's left of a Tahoe. I appreciate your efforts to use the lift safely. That has gone really well. Make sure that when you use the lift that you have to center the load in both directions. That's left to right and front to back. If you're not sure what your lifting points are, there's a book in Bay 3 that has all the lifting points for all the vehicles you ever lift. And remember the scissor lift is available and it's pretty capable. There was a near incident on the last Saturday where I noticed someone was getting into their car to get something out like a phone or a charger while we were lowering the car and they had flip flops on. And as you know, the scissor lift goes all the way to the ground. So I panicked very quickly because I thought that they might get their toes caught under the lift. So please watch people, watch people in and around the lifts. Um, if you're gonna use our two post lift, which we want you to use, make sure you have a sign off from Jeff Slagle. If you have a previous sign off, that is still valid. Just get a sign off if you want to be added to it. One suggestion that Will had, and I really appreciate this from Will, was the, uh, the Chris Fix videos. Chris Fix is a YouTuber, and I like his videos because they show you how to fix things, but it's not necessarily model specific. Like the example uh, picture you can see there is just a general, how do you do spark plugs? And he shows you in a Mustang, and he shows you in an Accord, and he shows you in a Tacoma. So you see different types of vehicles, and you can learn how to follow the steps. And I think this is really good, especially for people that are new to being a mechanic. Like we do a lot of brake pads and oil changes. Well, if you're not sure on how to do that, check out Chris Fix's videos. They're really good. And of course, being on YouTube, they're free. Here's our schedule for 23. Uh, we've got a lot of things coming up. We're still using our schedule where we're open on the second Saturday and the last Wednesday. In the odd months, we focus on the community. So that's January, March, May, July, et cetera. And then on the even months, we focus on Farley members, but we always help people in the community. Um, the Wednesday night is typically on the last Wednesday, although we have to tweak that a little bit sometimes in November or December. Um, that was also Will's idea, so that's a two kudos to Will, but uh, that's been a lot of fun. Please come join us for both the Saturday events and the Wednesday events. We need your help. And speaking of events, our demand for services, we just seem to get busier and busier, which is great, and we're allowed to do more ministry, and we want to do that. But anytime you can help, that's greatly appreciated. Be aware that we are unable to do any airbag work. So if somebody asks about that, we'll have to send them someplace where they can. Um, we want to ensure that only active workers are under the lifts. That's a safety issue. Make sure that people are not under the lifts if they're not actively working on the vehicle. Be sure to torque all lug nuts to spec. It's very important. If you go to Walmart or Sam's and get tire work done, you'll notice they have two different people to check the torque on the lugs because it is such an important safety issue. So don't guess, use the all data subscription that we have. Thanks, Jeff. And make sure that you're using the right torque. Be very careful about how you talk about people's vehicles. Sometimes they come in, they're dirty. They can be very dirty. Sometimes you may even have vehicles that people are literally living in. Don't let a side comment that we make to ourselves in jest hurt somebody and inhibit our ability to minister. Please, let's, let's help police each other on that. I know I've been guilty of it some myself too, and I'm, I'm trying to be better. Um, be sure to pray every time that we fix a car. This is that we have earned the right to pray with someone. And even if they just want to, to pray for, for, for health or blessing, that's great. We're praying in Jesus' name, and that's what counts. Uh, be sure to thank Chef Drea, and on Wednesday night, be able to thank Tina for, for bringing the pizza. That's been a big help uh, with the food. Uh, here's our last mascot. This is Wheezy the Bull Weevil from the University of Arkansas at Monticello. I didn't even know there was a University of Arkansas at Monticello, but there is, and their mascot is Wheezy the Bull, the Bull Weevil. Excuse me. 
Uh, the city of Huntsville noise ordinances must be observed at all times. We've had no complaints from the neighbors that I'm aware of, and we'd like to keep it that way. So thanks for your efforts there. Just be aware that some of the tools, particularly the air tools, are very loud. So use caution when using those, especially in the evening or early morning hours. So to wrap up this presentation, um, you've heard all that we have to say about safety. Thanks for your efforts at keeping the garage safe and well run. We really appreciate that. It's going well. Send me an email and you'll get back within 24 hours. You'll get your garage access code. My email address is on the screen there, but it's also in case you want to write it down, jmason2088 at gmail.com. Be sure to include the three mascots so we know you watched all the video and a quick statement that says you agree to the garage policies. You'll get your new code. It will be valid on February 1st. That's where we're going to put it in at the garage. And the old code will be removed on February 15th. Friendly reminder, if you need to get a lift uh, check out, be, see Jeff Schlegel. He can do that for you pretty quickly. And now you have an access code. Thanks for your work in the garage. Have a good day. God bless you.